as much as we talk about social media over here on my channel, you have to realize that email marketing is one of the most important things to invest your time into. But once you've got people on your list, then what happens? In this video, we're going to dig into how to write a welcome sequence that will engage your audience and keep them ready for your following emails. I wanna know how many people watching this have a welcome sequence set up right now, today. Drop an email emoji in the comments if you do. So if I teach all about Instagram and social media strategies, why am I talking about email marketing? Well, I love email marketing. Email is crucial to any small business. You don't own any of your content on your social channels and you don't own your followers. But your email list, that sweet baby is all yours. Hello, if we haven't met yet, I'm Shannon and I am a social media strategist that helps creative entrepreneurs. While I'm always talking about Instagram, I like to keep it real in my little internet space and your business matters to me. And this is why we're talking about your welcome sequence today. If you find that this is helpful, be sure to give that subscribe button just a little love tap because I will start showing up twice a week to bring you valuable information to help you move the needle forward. Okay, let's get into the welcome sequence. Did you know that email marketing has a 4,200% return on investment? That's a crazy ROI. That is also a lot of money that you're leaving in your inbox. Here are a few key differences between email and social media. There are 4 billion active email users daily versus 500 million Instagram users. Take a second to think about how many times you're in your inbox throughout the day. Also, emails are a more personal experience. It's so easy to get sidetracked and keep scrolling on social media, but if someone is reading your email, they're invested. Let's start off with what exactly is an email welcome sequence. It's a series that someone automatically gets when they first sign up for your emails. You can get new subscribers through your lead magnet, which is also just a free resource that you have created and provided, or they can sign up for your email through your website. Most people have three to four emails in their series, whereas I have seven. What? I have a lot of educational information to share with you guys. So think about when you host an event and someone shows up to the party. You don't just leave your guests hanging. You offer them some appetizers, maybe some champagne. You're beginning to foster a relationship. And this is your subscriber's first introduction into your brand. The goal of your welcome sequence is to continue to provide helpful information because no one wants to be added to another email list. No one. I'm constantly like getting out of email subscriptions all day. Look, they signed up for a reason and getting email subscribers is like finding gold. So serve up the good stuff. No fluff. Don't even sit there and think for a second that maybe four emails is too much. This person signed up with an expectation. So show up with your resources, tips, and tools to help them become who they really want to be or achieve what they really want. Do you want to know how to plan out a beautiful welcome sequence? Of course you do. Look, when it comes to the timing of your emails being delivered, you want to space them out. Automate the emails to be sent two to three days apart, with the first email being delivered immediately. No one likes to wait in this day and age. The first email will be sent to them as soon as they sign up. And you will use this one to build trust and give them a quick win that they can achieve on their own. Your second email should identify a pain point. You want to identify what they struggle with while sharing a relatable experience. Third email is going to be a personal story. And this creates connection while still showing your authority. And in the fourth email, you're going to add a hot tip or extend an offer, maybe a discount code, or talk about an upcoming product or service that you've been working on and give them some behind the scenes information. So now you need to set up your email list. No website, no problem. You can use lead pages or Flowdesk to collect and send emails out. And if you're just beginning your email marketing journey, I recommend starting with simple and easy software to use. MailChimp and Flowdesk are two excellent options for beginners. Each platform will have a step-by-step -step tutorial guide to walk you through the process. It's not that hard, I promise. At this day and age, we are experiencing so many outages or hacked accounts with our social media channels, 
But if you could take anything that I teach you and put it to practice, please, please, please start an email list for your business. I, I can't tell you how important it is. While creating a welcome sequence may feel like a time investment in the beginning and also a little bit intimidating, it is going to drive conversions even while you sleep with the correct setup. It's also a great way to continuously drive more leads to everything you have to offer. And speaking of offerings, I have a welcome sequence template in my membership program that you can try on a seven day trial for only a dollar. So be sure to check that out. The link is in the description below and I will see you right here next week. If you made it this far, make sure you squeeze that subscribe button so I can meet you back here with even more tips. All right, I'll see you in the next video.